Hi guys, I'm here with Team 7182 Mechanical Paradox Cube from Maryland, and we're gonna look at their innovative robot. One of the cool things is your intake. You don't even touch the ground like many other teams do. Can you describe it a little bit? Uh, so the intake is made so that everything is above four inches, so it can just go over the crater without having to lower anything. And these spinners act like a vacuum and suck things up into the deposit box, which would then uh, transfer into the the disorder. How do you guys prevent more than two minerals from getting in there? Because it looks like it's a pretty large cavity that you have. Yeah, so we use this um, stopper thing over here to help us like consistently get minerals in and then once we see it from uh, the back we see we look through the Lexan and then when there's two then we start outtaking and then any extra minerals go out of the intake. That's really really cool. Can you also describe you've got like these huge like red circles can you talk about these a little bit? Uh, so we decided to make this spool really large because there wasn't very much space to um, uh, mount the motor and uh, have the the um, cable be in line so we decided to have it large so that the where the cable is versus where the center point is for turning where the motor is is a lot larger so it's easier to mount and then we calculated the um, diameter of this for the specific speed that we would have a full extension for that's really cool and I know you guys have a really unique strategy with your depot scoring can you talk a little bit about that um, so we have uh, slanted slides here, so um, we can actually score into the lander from the depot side from afar without having to move that much. And um, we have a depot-made uh, sorter right here that actually uses, um, because of the, the size of the, um, the minerals, it, it pushes the cubes to the side while letting the balls go forward. That's really cool, and I know that's been really successful in watching your matches. And then, can you tell me about these screws? I know, like, they're part of FTC robots, but we don't see, like, linkages like this very often. Can you talk a little bit about that? So, beginning of the season, um, these slides would shake a lot, so we needed to find a place to mount these two. So we had this piece already that mounted to these Misumi slides, so then we added these pieces. They're really good because you can mount them at different angles like this, and then we just mounted them to this channel and then our hang, which are like stationary, so these slides stopped wobbling as much. That's really cool. I know the Misumi slides, they can wobble quite a bit, and by adding this bracing, it really reduces the wobble. Thanks, guys. Good luck in the competition, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.